Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from early morning here in Brownfield, Texas. This is Rusty78609, just pulling out of the free camping area at the city park and uh, headed right into the sun, but that's okay. I would have shown you a video of the park, but I think there's probably about 500 videos of that already. But it's just about six sites here in the city of Brownfield, Texas that are free camping for two or three nights, I think. They're okay. They're not level, I can tell you that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you'll you'll have to hear an art. Well, I was a little off last night. A little off doesn't is not bad. You know, like a half a bubble is not bad. I'm hoping I'm headed for the right street. In fact, let me do something right quick. Uh, hang on one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting up this hill here. Navigate to Lano, Texas. <coughs> Four hour and 37 minute drive to Lano. Is that the correct destination? <coughs> yeah, it is. I don't choke death. Head north on Park Road toward East Lawn Street. Is that where I'm at? feet, turn left onto East Repto Street. Okay, that's where I'm at. Turn left onto East Repto Street. <coughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. I gotta turn left, but oh, okay, I see it now. I see it. I'm gonna turn left on whatever this is. I mean, it's about it's about a ten foot long street. Gasoline here is two seventy nine a gallon. All right, we're taking a left on Seagraves Road. I didn't even slow down at that stop sign. Did you notice that? Why? Because there's a truck coming the other way. I want to get out. <clears throat> okay, and then what do I got to do? Take a left? Yeah, okay, well, I'll be in the left lane. So anyway, now that we're on the road, and you got to hear me cough a little bit. It's early in the morning, big deal. Suffer from old-timer's disease. <clears throat> but we're up in Adam. It's about 7, 10 a.m., Texas time and uh, yeah, why am I headed back to Lano because I just want to I got a plan guys I've always got a plan. They don't work very good Sometimes and sometimes they do I can't complain. I'm batting about I don't know probably 750 That's pretty good So we got to go up here and take a left on 137 and go to where La Mesa or La Mesa depending on your point of view Temperature right now is about 62 degrees, 64 degrees. Again, gasoline's 279 a gallon. I got a full tank plus junction 137 up here. I see the sign. Okay, we're gonna do that thing. We're gonna do that thing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hell it. Take the next left oh, it's right here. Sorry. South. Yeah, it had about 12 arrows pointing left, but there was no highway. All right, we got it, Google. Now you can Continue be. Continue on Texas 137 South for 35 miles. <coughs> okay, baby, we got it. We're going to roll now. Thank you very much. You know where the sun is? Right where the visor won't reach. <laughs> I mean, right to my left side, you know. So here we go, guys. Speed limit 55. La Mesa's, uh, what, 36 miles. Then we get on 87 south and zip right on into Lano, Texas in about, jeez, long time, five or six hours. I was going to go by uh, <clears throat> uh, Iran and stay there, but I decided not to because uh, this damn map, you can't turn it off, man. There I go. It's like, it's like killing a snake. You, know, so you think it's dead, but it ain't. 
But anyway, I took care of the Google Maps thing, so here we go, guys. I don't know what that is out there. Some kind of, looks like grapevines. And I heard it through the grapevine. Do, 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 do. So here we go, guys, on the road again. Tuesday morning early. Feel pretty good, got a good night's sleep. It's quiet in that city RV park at the city park. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh but the spaces again are not very level. Uh the hookups uh they're okay. They don't have full hookups, but they do have a dump station. Uh Verizon cell phone signal is five bars. So yeah, that's good. All of that was good. Uh you know, it just it was just a, it's a good place to, if you just want to spend the night. You know what I mean? And uh, so that's what I did. I could have gone to Yoakum uh, County Park near between Plains and Denver City, and then gone back through Ira Ann. But I thought, well, hell, if I just go on over to Brownfield, then I can uh, <clears throat> just head on back to Lano in the morning early, and I'm doing pretty good on that. And early in the morning, there's not much wind. The winds pick up about noon. <coughs> we got a dry throat this morning, I guess. I don't know. <coughs> Does it every morning. It's not new. But be that as it may, I've got my green tea, my dark chocolate, thanks to Jim, and on we go. I got out this morning, I checked the lights on the car, and the right rear tail light did not come on when it was plugged into the RV well let me say this whenever you plug in those little four prong plugs to an RV or whatever uh, you be sure you've got them pushed all the way in because uh, I, I just jiggled it a little bit and pushed it mashed it real hard and that light came on so uh, that so ever all the lights are working now <laughs> yeah but this is a farming country out here that I don't know if they raise any corn. It looks like they got some corn there on the right, and uh, or maize or something. But they do raise, I know, a lot of cotton and stuff out here between uh, Amarillo and Lubbock. But I'm not. Uh, I'm south of Amarillo, about 50 miles now, I think, headed south. But it's a pretty. Th this is actually the eight o'clock traffic here on this highway 137 South. And it shouldn't be too bad uh, the direction I'm going. I'm going away from Lubbock, and uh, most of the traffic I think is going to be heading into Lubbock. So we go through La Mesa, then Big Spring, San Angelo, and then some other little Brady and stuff, and then into Lano. It's a it's a good it's a six or seven hour drive at the speed I drive, 55. If you drove 65 or 70, you cut that down about 45 minutes. Am I in a big hurry? No. Have I got anything to do when I get there? No. Why? Because it's going to be hot. Do I like hot? I guess I better. Now, I'm a native Texan, so I'm used to the... I mean, I know what the Texas summers are. It's like the winters up north in some places. Montana, Wisconsin, other places where it gets really cold. And, uh, you know, you just endure it, you know, actually. But it's not too bad in Texas. You know, we've got air conditioning, and you guys up north have heat, so that's the way that goes. But it's kind of nice, and it's kind of funny, being out here on the highway without any money. <laughs> yo, 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 get him, Rusty, get him, get him, get him. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, I get kind of giddy when I'm driving down the highway, because it is kind of fun particularly when you know you, you got if you've got good equipment it sure helps but if you're driving down I believe me and I've had junk I have had junk and you go down the highway and every little sound you're going oh god there it goes you know something's thinking to break <clears throat> yeah yesterday uh, I thought I had a low tire or something but what it was uh, I was driving in a crosswind the wind was coming from the side the right side and uh, there was, it was gusty. And, and every now and then it would be kind of like you were floating, you know what I mean? Just a weird feeling. And I thought, man, I must have a low tire, a flat tire. Turns out it was just the wind, that's all. And, but that's, you know, you gotta learn how to drive a motor home and, and, and uh, know that 
there are it's it's different than towing a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. The, the, the driving feeling is different. But we cruise along right now. We're showing we're tacking about 2,000 RPMs, uh, which uh, is a little high. It, it's usually tacking 1,600, so we must be climbing a, a little bit. But the wind is kind of out of the north, uh, actually all the way to Lano. Uh, it's, uh, sh Lano shows a north wind at uh, seven miles an hour. And uh, so hope, I'm hoping that uh, that get into uh, light winds maybe out of the east, so we should be good. You, know, you become really aware of the winds when you're doing a, a motor home because head winds you know, a 10 mile an hour headwind, that's not too bad, but 30 mile an hour, 25 or 30, gusting to 30, that sucks. And then uh, side winds, you know, gusting sucks. So, but anyway, I'm just killing time, guys, getting my day started talking to y'all. And uh, so I did the video announcing on the road again, and then we are on the road again. Yeah, I don't know how much I can get done in Lano or whether I can get anything done. Uh, but I have a plan, always have a plan. And, uh, <clears throat> but I'm doing the calculatus eliminatus thing. Uh, you know, I wanna know what I can do and what I can't do. You know, buying a home in Texas right now is uh, almost impossible. I mean, the prices have gone through the ceiling for two reasons. Uh, the, ones, the, the ones that are being built, the lumber prices are high and the uh, existing homes are they're, they're selling them for over the asking price. So those two options uh, are, well, they, the building option is not out. It, it is definitely in for me because I'm building a very small 392 square foot cabin, which, uh, you know, if the price of materials is up 25%, uh, that doesn't make much difference because you're not using much in the way of, of, of lumber. <clears throat> a concrete foundation prices haven't changed. Uh, uh, metal roofing prices may have changed a little bit, but you know that's about it. But having said that, I, I'm going to look into that option. I need to find out exactly what it's going to cost me to uh, get that sewer extended, which I think the city ought to pay for, but they're not. We're, we're going to—I'm going to debate that issue with them at the, at the city council meeting soon. <clears throat> but be that as it may, what else? Uh, if the option of the building the cabin falls through then I still have the best option for me, and that's to remain in the Class C. Can I do that? Sure. I mean, I could finish out my life driving this Class C easily and doing the tow vehicle. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, ain't nothing to that. And where would I go? Hell, I don't know. It doesn't matter, you know. Uh, I, just uh, travel around the state parks in Texas, that'd work. You know, I could do that. I could live in state parks in Texas two weeks at a time, and it would cost me about $500 a month for everything. <clears throat> well, add another $100 for gas, 600 Well, not even that much, because if you're just moving once every two weeks, uh, say 100 miles, it should be easy. But, you know, is that a lifestyle I want to do? I don't know, I've never done that before. But calculate us, eliminate us. First, you got to find out where something ain't. And right now, I've found out it ain't in, in uh, Capitan for me, full time. I mean, you know, I could do what I'm doing, but, you know, I, I don't own that lot anymore. So that's kind of a hit and miss. And do I want to stay at an RV park in Capitan, New Mexico? No, I don't. Why? I just don't. Uh, you know, the, the RV parks they have there, wherever you park your RV, you, you have no view and no privacy, okay, at, at any of them. <clears throat> you know, you, you're just in there. But the, the good thing about the Lano, Texas RV park where I'm at is I've got a nice view and some a little bit of privacy. Uh, as good as you're going to get in any RV park. La Mesa, 26 miles. So we've gone 10 miles on this road, I guess. On the road again, guys. This is Flatland USA, I guarantee you. 
This is the high plains of Texas. You got unlimited views, but you also got unlimited dust when the wind blows. And believe me, the wind blows out here a lot. They actually had a, a train uh, blown off the track uh, near uh, to the east, or excuse me, west of Lubbock. But that could have been a little tornado, who knows. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, from Highway 137 South, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, if I get my thumb over here, there it is, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos, why? Because it does not cost you one penny. Just click on the link in the description of my videos, Go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose, and you will not lose. Amazon takes care of me. Then drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. You'll never regret that. And I'm cruising along here at 58 miles an hour. That's warp three. So, uh, you guys, enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. And uh, on we go. The adventure continues.